Hello folks, it's David Kearns again. Um, just wanted to have a quick video with you this morning um, to touch on a subject that's come up a few times in my discussions with clients recently. Um, and this is on the topic of carbon management. Now, many of my customers would like to tell me that carbon management is the same as carbon reporting. Now here in Australia, uh, we have a government scheme known as the National Greenhouse and Energy Reporting Scheme, or ENGER, um, which requires large entities to report their greenhouse gas emissions uh, and their energy consumption. Um, and that's often been as far as many companies have gone. Um, I wanted to let you know that carbon management involves so much more than carbon reporting. These things are not equivalent. Um, and so just touch on this very briefly this morning. What are we talking about? So we've got carbon management. Let's do ourselves a little mind map here. So the things that people typically think about are things like measurement. So this is where you're actually taking measurements uh, in your plant or your equipment of things like fuel consumption, um, chemical emissions if you're involved in things like uh, nitric acid production, um, uh, fugitive emissions if you're a mine, things like that. Um, and then these will also go off and translate into reporting. So you might have to report in a sustainability report, you might have to report to government. Um, that is not it. So that's a small subset of what uh, might be termed carbon management um, at this point in history. Um, so simply the next step that you might think about is something like benchmarking. So how are your facilities tracking in relation to uh, similar facilities in your country and around the world um, as far as their greenhouse gas emissions are concerned? Um, I ask this as many companies and get a lot of blank looks. Um, how do you know you're doing well? Okay, and you say, well, so what? What does it matter? Well, the reason it matters is that I think most of us are aware that greenhouse gas emissions present risk to our organisations. And so part of uh, carbon management is tied in with risk management, risk management for the business itself. Um, the risks around things like carbon pricing off the back of the Paris Agreement um, and individual uh, state and uh, local government actions. Um, also risks in terms of impact on fuel prices um, and uh, energy sources, uh, reliability of energy sources and so on. Uh, so once you've gone through some risk management ex exercises, um, you may find that there is a case to be made for something which has become deeply unfashionable, I'm sorry to say, energy efficiency. Um, most plants in Australia, at least, are getting on. They've got some grey hairs. And so there's plenty of opportunity there for energy efficiency projects. Um, the energy efficiency projects can be capital projects, replacing old equipment, for example. Um, but they can also involve things like updates to your control systems, um, applying new technology uh, like machine learning um, to try and squeeze the most out of the assets that you already have. Um, they also involve things like, and I've touched on this just now, technology and engineering. So um, technology and engineering have not remained static over time. Um, people are often surprised that there is an opportunity for uh, improvements to the plant to be made that maybe couldn't be made five or ten years ago. Um, and so it's worthwhile thinking about uh, technology that is now available to you. So just as a few examples, um, I touched on machine learning before. Uh, it's a whole uh, field that's really emerged into its own over the last few years um, uh, and gives the opportunity for you to model and understand and make predictions around the way your, your facilities operate uh, like never before. Uh, there's also new technology around engineering. So we have things like the Kalina cycle for um, conversion of low grade waste heat into electricity. So that might be useful, say, for cement plants um, or, um, or geothermal power stations. Uh, and then finally, um, you need to make some calls and actually implement some projects in your plant. So projects can be as uh, simple as updating of a, a set of control system settings, uh, maybe implementing some new procedures, and they can be as complex as uh, building an entirely new replacement plant. So uh, I hope you can take away today that um, carbon management and carbon reporting are not the same thing. Carbon reporting is definitely a much smaller subset. It's just this bit over here, the measurement and reporting. Um, and that there's an opportunity there for you to improve the way that your business operates, uh, to mitigate risk, um, and to get ultimately benefits uh, to the way that your, your facility operates in terms of its competitiveness, 
um, and its profitability. This has been David Kearns from Sustainable Data. You have a good day.